everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to review the biography drama film Jobs, starring Ashton Kutcher, Dermot Mulroney, Josh Gad, Lucas Haz, Matthew Madone, J.K. Simmons, Kevin Dunn, and James Woods. This film is from Joshua Michael Stern, the director of Swing Vote, the film with Kevin Costner and Madeline Carroll. I like that film, by the way. But anyways, the film is about when we see the life of Steve Jobs, you know, the creator for Apple. We see the life of him going from being a college dropout to being one of the most creative entrepreneurs of the 20th century. Going into Jobs, I was very interested in Jobs. After seeing Jobs and knowing how not good the reviews are, I could honestly say, I really like Jobs. In my opinion, this film is probably the most underrated film of 2013. I don't understand why this is getting mixed reviews. People complain that they wanted more Steve Jobs' life, and I can understand that complaint, but all the other issues people had with this film and why it wasn't that good in their opinion, I just don't understand it. But in my opinion, this is an outstanding film. I really like Jobs. I actually liked it a little more than I expected. I was just very impressed with this film. Ashton Kutcher as Steve Jobs, he does such a great job. In my opinion, this is the best performance Ashton Kutcher has ever given. Even if you don't like Ashton Kutcher, you'll at least like him in this film because he is not goofy. He really does have a serious role and he acts it so well and you could definitely see on screen that Ashton Kutcher you could tell this guy really had a passion for this film he had the look of Steve Jobs he had the walk of Steve Jobs he had the mannerisms of Steve Jobs I'm very impressed with Ashton Kutcher's performance and he is the best part of this film in my opinion we've also got the other actors like we've got Josh Gad he does a really good job here. Although he's like hit and miss with the humor though. I'll get into that. We have Lucas Haas. He does good. J.K. Simmons is amazing in any movie he does. Come on. The dude's awesome. Steve Jobs. Everyone called him an asshole. And he really was an asshole at times. But he wasn't a bad person. He explained in the film. He just wanted to make the others know what they got. He wants the others to really bring out their own creativity. He doesn't yell or shout to be mean, even though there are times where I do feel like the dude was going way too far and needs to calm the hell down. Do you understand why this guy gets frustrated, especially the things that happen to him, which I won't spoil, even though some of you might have maybe read the story behind him, but was blown away by everything I was seeing the makeup on Ashton Kutcher as Steve Jobs was just really impressive as well. They, whoever Whoever's in charge of the makeup, good job. You really did make him look like uh, Steve Jobs, as well as the other actors who play the other characters from this based on a true story biography. The film plays out so well. The storyline's really good in my opinion. I was really invested in the storyline the whole time there was not a dull moment in this film in my opinion the drama scenes in this film they were really good they were outstanding and there was actually a couple of times where tears actually came out of my eyes it just kind of hits me in the heartstrings look at steve jobs he's an inspiration now and he changed uh the future because of his creativity and you, you could call him whatever you want. You could call him a creative person. You could call him an asshole. Call him whatever you want. But you can't deny the fact that this guy really was creative. And despite all the problems he went through, all the hell the guy went to, he never gave up. He just kept going for it. You have to admire and respect the guy for that. And uh, after watching this movie, I definitely respect this guy even before i saw this movie i respect this guy i would say my only flaws i do have with jobs is that earlier i mentioned how josh gad is a hit and miss let me explain what i mean by that because um mainly in the first half the movie would play for like a lot of humor it's just the first half that played a lot of humor the rest of the film 
didn't really have humor. Like, here and there, maybe, just very little, but overall, not that much humor. In the first half, Josh Gad, he would, he would just pop out all of these liners, and some of the lines he would say were funny, but other lines he said were a miss. They felt forced just for the sake of making you laugh, but it just didn't work. So Josh Gad was half of a flaw, if that even makes sense. He got on my nerves just a tad. Not a whole lot, though. I still think Josh Gad did a good job playing his character. The other flaw I did have with the film was the ending, like, the last one minute, literally the last one minute of this film was uh, Steve Jobs at the radio show. I felt like that last one minute was just rushed. Like, it was still a good ending, and uh, I enjoyed what Steve Jobs said there, but I wish that we got an extra, I would say, three minutes, an extra three minutes or two minutes, if that even works, just for him to say more things at the radio show and for us to really grab that inspiration stuff that he says. People got annoyed with Steve Jobs giving speeches every 20 minutes, but honestly to me they were inspirational speeches. I enjoyed the speeches he would give. They really were inspiring. I really don't understand why this got mixed reviews at the film festivals and why this got bad reviews by the film critics. Most of the audience members don't seem to be too crazy about this film. I don't know why. It's definitely the most underrated film of 2013 in my opinion. You guys might not expect my rating to go this high, but I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to give Jobs three and a half out of four stars. Yes, it was really that good in my opinion. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!